Hi everybody, it's Fibo Group and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. A consolidative tone has emerged ahead of outcome of the FONC meeting later today. Equities in Asia Pacific and Europe rose. US futures are slightly firmer. The dollar is trading with a lower bias, with the fear of intervention tomorrow when Tokyo markets are close to helping the yen lead the charge, followed by the antipodean currencies. Emerging market currencies are broadly mixed. Gold is extending its recovery after posting an outside update yesterday. It is near $1,655 after testing $1,631 yesterday. December WTI is flat around $88.30. It rallied 2.1% Tuesday. Asian Pacific Market Japan's markets are closed tomorrow, but market recalls that after the September Fed hike, the Bank of Japan intervened the following day. Yet, the intervention does not appear to have been aimed at a certain level, like JPY 150, but at volatility. Volatility is also directional in the sense that it has tended to increase when the dollar trades at levels it has not seen in decades. The dollar began the Asia-Pacific session on its highs around JPY 148.35 and has trended lower to test JPY 147.00. Yesterday's low was a smidge on lower. The Australian dollar is firm but within yesterday's range. Market of Europe The Eurozone's October manufacturing PMI was unchanged from the preliminary reading of 46.6. It has fallen every month since January. However, the national figures for the big four were all poorer than expected. The German reading was revised to 45.1 from 45.7 and down from 47.8 in September. Separately, Germany reported a larger-than-expected September trade surplus of 3.7 billion euros. The euro is in a little more than a third of a cent range today, above $0.9870. It met offers in early European turnover slightly above 0.9900. Similarly, sterling is confined to a narrow range inside yesterday's. It is in about a quarter of a cent range on either side of $1.1500. Market of America. The key issue is not the magnitude of the Fed's hike today. A three quarters point hike is as foregone a conclusion as these things get. The issue is what is next. For a couple of months, some officials have intimated that the Fed may soon slow the pace. That would seem to make sense as the target rate moves above where Fed officials see as neutral and into restrictive territory. The US dollar is trading with a heavier bias against the Canadian dollar. It is straddling the CAD 1.3600 level in quiet turnover. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.